I want to discuss the range that you can actually get using 18650 batteries, what is possible and what is impossible, and some of the outrageous claims that are made on YouTube. The thing to keep in mind is the rule of thumb that one amp hour uh, will take you one mile at full throttle. So keep that in mind. It's not a perfect thing, but it certainly is a, a good rule of thumb to use when referencing someone claiming how far their battery can take you. If you look, these are 10 uh, cells. They're rated at 1800 milliamp hours or 1.8 amp hours and since there's 10 of them if you were to put these in parallel that would theoretically take you 18 miles at 4 volts. Now 4 volts is not going to take any motor anywhere so in order to get enough um, mileage, usable mileage you're going to have to increase the voltage and the way you're going to increase the voltage is increasing the number of these that are, that are wired in parallel and put them in series with each other. Ten of these cells on the scale weigh 15 ounces so if we were just to say on average they are one pound then that would mean that this particular battery pack of all these 60 cells put together would weigh around six pounds. So that would represent a pretty good battery pack. You've got uh, a six pound battery pack that will take you 18 miles at 24 volts and around 17 miles an hour uh, maximum. So that's not too bad. So this represents the actual cells that you would need to make a real battery pack at 24 volts. So let's discuss speed versus range. So if you had six cells in series at four volts per cell, that would be a 24 volt battery pack. Nine cells in series would be a 36 volt uh, battery pack. 12 cells in series would be 48 volt battery pack. And 18 cells in series would be 72 volt power pack. And the more cells you put in series, the faster you will go. But that's very different from range. If you look at the range, if you put, if you had one amp hour cells, uh, if you put six cells in parallel, you'd be able to go six miles. Ten cells in parallel, you'd go ten miles. Twelve cells in parallel, you'd go twelve miles. About the maximum cell you can buy right now, and they're not really uh, available for sale that easily, and that's a Panasonic uh, 3.6 amp hour and that costs you around $22 to $25 per cell. So a much more reasonable one is a Panasonic 3400 milliamp uh, cell, which you can get for around $5 or 3.4 amp hours. Well, let's just go down to three just to make life easy on this. So if you had six cells in parallel, you could get 18 miles from it. Ten cells in parallel, you could get 30 miles from it. And 12 cells in parallel, you could go 36 miles. That would be your range, figuring the one amp hour per mile. Now, you will see claims on YouTube that their batteries can go 100 miles. 130 miles, 200 miles. Well, let's look at some of the claims here. It says that it's a 52 volt battery and it would go with a 100 mile range. So, if you were to use 3 amp hour batteries, you would require 13 18650 cells in series. That away. And 33 cells in parallel. I can't even get 33 cells 
in parallel on this tabletop. But you get the idea of how many cells that would be trying to get to 33 cells in parallel. So you need 33 of these in parallel and you need 13 across to get to a 100 mile range. You would need 429 cells. Uh, each battery pack would weigh 43 pounds or 19.5 kilograms. Well, you look at the size of the batteries that they're advertising on their YouTube videos that give you that type of a, a range, and there's nowhere near uh, 43 pounds and nowhere near 429 cells sitting together in a battery pack. It'd just be a massive size if you look at the uh, 33 in parallel that you would need and 13 to fill up the rest of that tabletop that I've got here. So it just can't be done and you really shouldn't believe those scams. There is one way to do it and I will show you how. Today we're going to talk about cycling and it's a very important subject matter and what I'm here to tell you is that you must, if you are taking steroids, you must cycle on.